What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, my people? How y'all doing? I'm in here, we live, and I'm just gonna check my audio real quick, just make sure we good. Cool, all right, we, we in here. All right, so we're gonna be real quick because it's dinner time, so I gotta get this done before the pizza is ready. So let's go ahead and dive in real quick. Let's take a look at what's new in Pro Tools. Y'all know how I do. I just go and run down everything that's new, give you my thoughts and my feelings about it. And I, I haven't even checked this out yet. I've installed it, it's here, but I haven't even opened it yet. So we just gonna look at the details, get the information, and y'all decide for yourself if y'all wanna get it. I'm gonna go ahead and say, this update right here is pretty big for a lot of people and there's a lot of guys that have been asking about um they're they're currently on like 12 or even some people on 11 and they've been asking is it really worth upgrading to the new version uh and i'm gonna go ahead and say now yes absolutely go ahead upgrade especially if you have a perpetual license with a lapsed plan um, they're doing a sale right now. I believe it's 30% off. So you can go ahead and up, if you got Pro Tools 12, even 11, you can go ahead and renew your um, support plan, which will bring you current. So you'll have the new version of Pro Tools and that'll also give you a year of updates. So whatever updates they come out from now till the end of your year, you'll get up to that particular update then you'll also get support so if you need to contact avid for any reason um you can get in there but let's go ahead let's dive in check this out and see what we working with all right so pro tools 2022.9 is now available and let me tell you guys let's go ahead and just drive in pro tools intro brand new right out the gate they're coming up with a new free version. So if we remember back uh, 2022.5, I think it was, whatever the last big update I did a, a video for, they um, got rid of Pro Tools first and they introduced Artist Studio and then Flex. So now they're bringing back a free product called Pro Tools Intro. And it looks like, let's see, Essential Audio Media Tools Needed, 36 effects and instrument plugins, 36 effects and instruments, that's a lot. Uh, default rollback for any subscription customer who does not renew their license. Okay, so there's a little details there about as far as if you let your subscription uh, lapse what happens, but that's cool. They're bringing in a free version for, for people. Like, I like I like that. That's very, very, very nice. Uh, Melodyne. Now, this is the big one that I've been talking about. If you've been following me, I've been talking about this for days. Aura 2 Melodyne support. What this is, is now within Pro Tools, you have Melodyne. Everybody has access to this. So they're giving um, a free version of Melodyne. If you don't already own it, you get a free version of Melodyne. And what happens now is you don't have to do the whole analyze the audio thing. It's automatically, as you're using the track, as long as you turn on the Melodyne mode, it's going to open up just like the old, the MIDI editor did at the bottom of your screen. Now you're gonna have a Melodyne window. So you can go ahead and tune your vocals. Um, you can change, adjust the timing. If you need to adjust the timing, get, get the vocal sound is sweet and that's integrated directly with Pro Tools. So there's no need to open up the plugin now. Now you just got it on the track. So it's living on the track. And what's great about that is anytime you do a comp or you do an overdub or anything like that, it automatically will update the melody. Now that is so huge for me. In most of my sessions, I'm dealing with people that want to on the fly tune the vocals. And we're not talking about using auto-tune. They're talking about no open Melodyne and hand tune the vocals because they want to hear what it's going to sound like when it's finished. So we're getting it, that finished, crispy, really fine tuned vocal where we going in and getting that run nice and sweet. They want to hear that while we're tracking. So the, the beauty of now being able to do that without having to do the whole, oh, I got to print it down and then we do the, the thing and then, oh, let's I want to retract that. So they got to re-record it. Then we got to do the Melodyne all over again. Then if you forget the plugins on, you're hearing the previous recording versus what's actually on the track it's a mess when you have to do that so now being automatically integrated is so amazing i'm so excited for that that's the big one for me i thought they dropped something on us that nobody knew about nobody was talking about i was on a whole webinar with Avid yesterday and they say nothing about this this aux io let me tell you what this is guys okay 
So, you know, since 2020, a lot of people have started doing remote um, sessions and things like that. So we've been diving into a bunch of different tools. Um, I've used a couple of them. The one I've been using so far is um, um, Session Wire. And in order to get audio out of Pro Tools, you always have to have something third party. So the big one for me has been um, um, Source Nexus. Uh, the same company that does Source Source Connect, they have a, a audio driver that allows you to route audio in and out of Pro Tools, basically any application. You can create um, basically virtual audio interfaces within your system and use those inputs and outputs everywhere. So I've been using that for a long time and it's either you can buy it or you can subscribe to it. So now Pro Tools has built something similar internally. Matter of fact, I can go ahead and show you because I've installed Pro Tools already. So you can see this. Let me pull this screen over. So here's my um, sound preferences for my computer. If I scroll up, you see these audio, Pro Tools audio bridge? Those are some built-in virtual audio interfaces that I can utilize to get signal in and out of Pro Tools. So this is gonna be game changing for a lot of us that are doing remote sessions where we need to get on Zoom, we need to get on Skype, we need to get on all these different platforms and be able to talk back and forth to people and they can hear us, we can hear them, they can hear our Pro Tools session, this, that, and the third. So now that that's built in, I'm really excited about that because that, that means I can stop my subscription with Source Nexus because that $12 a month start to add up, man, I'm, I'm telling you. So that's another big one. Big one, big one. Yep, game changer. That's right, man. Ga game changer, I'm telling you. Soundflow Cloud Edition. Now, I've been using Soundflow for a hot little minute um, now. Um, when they announced it uh, months ago for Flex users, I jumped on it, got a stream deck, and so I got that sitting down here in front of me, and I love it. It speeds up your workflow so much because it has already built-in parameters like, you know, track creating tracks and color coding tracks moving stuff around doing different things editing all kind of stuff in there but then you can also create your own custom macros and this is where you start to get into real pro tools jedi type stuff because now you can create one button that does five six seven eight as many as you really want to different scripts for you so i have one program that when i'm tracking doing a drum tracking session and it's a brand new session not open from a template i just made a brand new session i can select all of the drum tracks and it will automatically set the inputs and outputs the way I want them to be um, depending on the size of kit that I'm that I'm um, tracking that day so all kind of sweet stuff you can do with that so now everybody is going to get this um, down to Pro Tools Studio um, because before it was only on Flex but now they're opening it up for Studio so that's awesome amazing that they're giving it to you guys and I'm telling you check it out it will change your life it's so fast the, the amount of stuff you can do with that next thing um that is in here they got um some time code overlay settings so if you deal with video you can uh deal with that increase the marker count from 999 to 32,000. at this point i don't know who's going to use that many markers if you're using thousands of markers like that no, we got to come up with another way. Um, now, honestly, I would have wished they would have done something different with markers, like giving us different types of marker tracks. Because one of my biggest problems now is in post production, when I'm working on a film, a lot of times I make markers for different things. Like I might make a note for some dialogue that's missing. Um, I might make a note for a sound effect that, that needs to be sweetened. I might make a note for a music cue that needs to be edited. All this kind of stuff. And your markers start to get just out of control if anybody's ever paid attention to some of my posts and you see my markers all those little yellow lines going up and down the screen like those are hundreds and hundreds of markers throughout a, a project so now you can get a lot more of those markers in it so hopefully the next iteration is going to be some type of um track version to where you can split those up and have different types of markers i'm hoping that's a thing roger what's up man how you doing man glad to see you in here uh let's see quantize toolbar i briefly saw this um basically they made a new toolbar for quantize and basically i the way i see it is something easier for people who haven't been in pro tools matter of fact let me scroll down here and see if they gave us a screenshot of it yeah so you got this big old 
Q button right here for for doing quantization um, in some different settings. So that's that's kind of cool, man. You know, that's gonna be in your edit window as well as the um, the event operations down at the bottom when you do your you know you do your MIDI editing in Pro Tools. It's gonna be down there at the bottom. So that's that's really cool. They give you matter of fact, anybody that uses Logic, that probably looks familiar to you because Logic's had that big old quantize button forever. So. That's that. Uh, let me see if they got a screenshot of this Melodyne thing, because I really want y'all to see that, like, what it looks like. Uh, da, 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 da. They don't have it in here. They don't have it in here. Let me see if they put it over here. Yep, there it is. All right, so cool. You can see right there. So Melodyne literally is going to be down at the bottom of your screen, just like the, the, the MIDI editor currently is. You now have it down at the bottom. You do your fixes, and you can close that up. The quick key to open that up is option A. I already know that. Thank you, Jacob. My buddy Jacob already uh, played around with it, and he loves it. It's sweet. But yeah, man, that's what's new here with Pro Tools. Um, You know... Y'all, who's in the comments? Let me know. Uh, I was settled for unlimited delay compensation buffers. I gave up HDX a long time ago. Listen, man, I'm still on HDX. Um, <laughs> I, I can't get rid of it. That that hybrid engine, that that's a nice touch, man. When they implemented the hybrid engine, that's actually when I jumped into HDX. Um, I waited for a long time before getting it, but the hybrid engine was the one that took me over the edge. Uh, so that's um, dope for me. But yeah, man. <laughs> uh, it's expensive. Uh, if you can stay off of it, stay off of it. Even though I'm an analog head. Yeah, man, I'm I'm starting to get into that, man. I just had a conversation with a friend earlier today that I've started getting more into analog and it's the it's the it's the tactileness of it for me like being able to reach over here and adjust some compressor settings like yeah i got control service and i've been able to touch knobs and all that kind of stuff for for years but the like compressors like being able to touch a compressor and dial in my my settings while somebody's singing um that that's beautiful man so um i got the bug so now i'm, I'm probably gonna be getting more stuff mm. Uh, what else comments we got in here? What else in here? Anybody got questions about Pro Tools? Uh, I'm going to definitely be diving into it uh, tomorrow. Uh, I got some some sessions I'm going to be doing. Um, I actually got something special coming for y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Uh, I'm checking out something, and it's going to be a live reaction video. Um, so that's that's going to be awesome. Uh, nice briefing. Can't wait to install my new job. Yeah, man, do it. And, and matter of fact, if you see right here, if I show you bottom of my screen, you can see I've already installed it. One of the beautiful things about Mac is you can have multiple versions of Pro Tools installed at once. So I have 2022.6, uh, 0.7, and now whatever the current version, which is 0.9, it all installed. So at any given point, I can jump between those three different versions. And I might even have all the way back to 2022.4 um, installed on, on this machine just because I like to, to have that option. Cause you never know, man, you do these updates and something gets broken or something's not working as well as it should. So, you know, I like to have all those options. Sorry for my PC guys out there. Y'all can't do that, um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Cool, man. If that's it, I'm going to hop off of here because I got to go pick up dinner. And I know the wife probably looking at this like, yo, he is on here. He told me to order this food and he ain't even at the store to get stuff. So let me hop off of here. Y'all holler at me. I'll be back later. Not today, tomorrow. Going live with something else special. So y'all stay tuned. If you're not following this page, make sure you follow this page. Click the button. Follow me. Not just be my friend. I need you to follow me because you're going to get all the notifications and all that kind of stuff for my content. Because that's really important out here. And y'all know I like to share and give as much knowledge as I can. So until next time, this is your man, Dale Mixed It. I'm out. Peace.